Hello, my name is Chris and I will review the 2017 BMW X5 with eDrive. I hope you'll find this video useful and interesting. X5 is a looker. I'd even go so far as to say biting your lower lip sexy. BMW has always been good at exterior design and I think they are leading the way in this category. These SUVs are becoming the first choice among the successful hard workers of this world and BMW does enjoy repeat customers. The rear trunk is big enough and rear passengers have a panoramic view. A lot of space, comfortable seating and a multitude of creature comforts that one would expect at this price. Very good so far. Sitting in front is a flawless experience. BMW traditionally lagged behind its competitors in interior design, but on the $70,000 Canadian Plus models, they are at the same level and perhaps edge its rivals in terms of interior design. The different colors and textures let your eyes know that a lot of thought was put into this interior. The HK sound system is very good and I still don't like iDrive. Some notable items are the heads up display that displays navigation and a nighttime interior light design which films poorly. You'll have to take my word for it. Variable ratio steering decreases the turning radius at parking speeds and increases the turning radius at higher speeds. Brilliant. The sport mode now decouples the drivetrain setting and the suspension, allowing you to choose the sport mode with a regular suspension setting. I think some buyers will like this, even though I prefer one good suspension setting. This model in Canada starts for $75,000 Canadian, and the model I am driving stickers for close to $90,000. At that price, you have to get it right. X5 does. In case of carelessness, the IIHS gives X5 high scores with a demerit for poor ease of use of the child seat anchors. The electric engine is smooth, and this eDrive has a curb weight of 2,368 kilograms. It can do 35 kilometers on electric only, and we can report in perfect conditions it almost did. Impressive for such a big vehicle. When on gas, it is powered by a four-cylinder turbo with a combined power of 308 horsepower and 332 pounds of torque, with a 0 to 60 in 6.8 seconds. No slouch. The whole drivetrain works well together. However, for these types of vehicles, the Volt I drove last week is still the best in terms of seamless operation. Hidden on the BMW website is the charge time with a regular electrical outlet. It might be there, I gave up after 10 minutes. A third party website claims 6 hours. The battery range sounds like a winner for you urban professionals that live in the city. Here are my thoughts on the road. Hello car lovers! Today Ross brings me a BMW X5 40E 2017. That's a mouthful. So this vehicle in Canada starts at 75, but with a few options, it goes up as this model is at, I believe it's 88,000 something, plus transportation, plus taxes. We are at over $100,000 Canadian for this vehicle. Now, every vehicle that I've ever tried in my life that was worth like over $90,000 was awesome. It's hard to get it wrong at this price. What are the things that stand out about this vehicle? Well, for one, I love the exterior styling. Uh, M division should sometimes stand for macho, I think, because it looks very manly, but it, it, it has class, you know, it, it doesn't look, a, it's not a Dodge Ram or anything like that. There's just a very classy but macho exterior vehicle. The wheels are ginormous, low profile, and it's actually kind of amazing. The suspension is doing quite a good job because I'm. it's not that jarring actually it can be though we got jarred in the parking lot at Costco just before um, relatively quiet on the road as you can imagine um, the electronic engine is very good I enjoy it we've been on electric for quite some time now however the power is going down like crazy I'm not sure we're gonna do 
135 kilometers, but still quite a bit. Um, you have to expect that. I mean, this is a very heavy vehicle. Other things that I like about it, well, being the all-equipped model, uh, I don't think BMW, at least in its higher-end models, su will suffer any longer from inferiority complex versus its two other German rivals, namely Mercedes and Audi, in terms of the interior design quality and the interior, just the interior good looks. Uh, on the dash here, soft leather, beautiful stitching, nice wood trim, uh, a color scheme that really looks good together. It all works well together. These seats are incredible, adjustable. I'm so comfortable in these seats. It's just awesome. The door pulls are high quality. When you open and close the doors, it feels like a tank. In fact, BMW are really a top-notch precision-built company and it's just so accentuated in this high-level vehicle. What else about this vehicle? I love this steering wheel. The M steering wheel is awesome. Um, I love the drivetrain. It's smooth. There's plenty of power, at least as far as I'm concerned. And if you live in the city, the E-Drive, if you live in the city and you have a garage, well, the E-Drive can potentially save you a significant amount of money. Not that we care at this price, but nevertheless, it's always nice to save money. Um, other things, the heads-up display is incredible. Uh, it looks so good and so sharp, it almost looks painted in the window. And that's always good for safety, right? Keep your eyes on the road. Not like I'm doing now. Um, other things about this vehicle that are good. Well, that's about it. Uh, I will say a note on the BMW shopping experience on the web. Um, very frustrating for me. I've, I've already owned a BMW. And I think one of the reasons why I didn't buy another BMW is because of the way the options are done. So for example, I really like this steering wheel. The base steering wheel is not that awesome. But if I take this steering wheel, I need to get the M Sport package. That's not awesome. That's $4,000. There's another option I like in the in a luxury group. Well, I have to take, uh, I like the seats, for example, the awesome leather. Well, I have to take that option plus another option that's clicked automatically when I click on the other option and it costs many thousands of dollars more. It's not a very satisfying buying experience for myself personally, though I think it will appeal to the individual who wants everything, right? You know that guy who buys or woman who buys everything all equipped, all equipped. Uh, even even when at the, the restaurant, uh, Serge, what are you gonna take in your pizza? I'm gonna take it all dressed, extra everything. Uh, bring me two. You know what I mean? It's for that kind of guy. It's a wonderful buying experience. What else about this vehicle? Well, I hear a lot of people uh, talk about you know, uh, well, BMW, you're just buying the brand. You know, it's all the brand, and there's not that much, and the car. The car is not that reliable and blah, 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 blah. Well, of course you're paying for the brand. I mean, any luxury item, you pay for that association, but it's that's not all you're paying for. Um, BMW, uh, what they've done on their YouTube channel over the years, if they've shown you all their little attentions to details. So for example, there is a haptic department and that haptic department uh, is, what they do is they've determined the perfect pressure when pressing buttons or lowering and raising windows. And what I mean by that is that they've determined that if the button is too easy to depress, you're gonna have a feeling of cheapness. If the button is too hard to press, it's gonna be work. There's this sweet spot where it's firm, there's good friction in play, and the pressure you're putting on feels luxurious. I know that sounds small stuff but it's these little things that you enjoy over time other things that bmw does is for example uh and and this this technology trickles down is that they they, they do things like uh for the vents you know it, when you raise the, the 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 vent speed on a bmw you don't really hear that much racket for example on a honda on honda fit it's like it's like the sound system is playing full blast right except it's just air well, they, that's intentional. They do things in a way to minimize noise for these mundane functions. The, the feeling of precision is everywhere in this vehicle. It's gapless, it's a gapless finish. That costs money, because not everyone does it. There's a reason why these cars cost a lot of money. So, in conclusion, 
and it's actually Ross's conclusion, though I came up to the same conclusion as him, this is a vehicle you lease, right? And then at the end of the lease, you take the keys and you take the vehicle and you give them back to BMW and you say, thank you very much. I'll let the next guy do the repairs on this vehicle off warranty. And that is my review. By the way, a few things. I'm gonna send a shout out to BMW Canada for lending Ross these vehicles. This is, my YouTube channel is relatively small, but they push their vehicles. They let independent reviewers try them. And that's pretty awesome. That's, that's confidence in your product. And the other thing is, if you like the video, well, why don't you subscribe? And by subscribing in your subscription feed, I come out with two or three videos a month. Well, they will appear there. And if you like the vehicle, you watch it. And if you don't like, you don't watch it. 